Now in the next part, we're asked to solve the equation 3 sine squared theta minus 2 cos squared theta equals 1 for theta between 0 and 360 degrees. Now you may remember that in the first part we showed that this equation was equivalent to saying 5 sine squared theta equals 3. So we just take it from here now. So what we need to do is divide both sides by 5 and that will give sine squared theta equals 3 fifths or if you prefer as a decimal that would be 0 0.6. So next we take the square root to both sides so that would be sine theta equals plus or minus, don't forget that, plus or minus the square root of 0 0.6. And if you do that on a calculator you'll see that we have sine theta equals plus or minus 0.77459 and so on. So I need to solve each of these equations, the plus one and the minus one for sine theta. So let's start with the first one when sine theta equals 0.77459 four five nine and so on. What I like to do is always draw a quadrant diagram. So mark that in. This line here starts at naught degrees, goes round to here at ninety, then one eighty, two seventy, three sixty. I'm dealing with sine being a positive value and sine is a positive value. You remember all sine tan cos denotes the positive quadrants for any trig function. So sine is positive in the first quadrant. So I'll just mark a line like that, mark an angle in there, and sine is positive in this quadrant. And so mark an, another line in equally inclined to this horizontal line here. So get in the habit of marking those two angles in. I'm going to take these away now okay because they just clutter the diagram. So I'm looking for possible values of theta and the first one starting from here you turn anti-clockwise to the first blue line and that's a possible theta. Also starting again from naught going round here to the next blue line this turn is also a possible theta. So when I find theta by taking the inverse sign of 0 0.77459 on a calculator, make sure you're in degrees mode by the way when you're doing this, you should find that the calculator displays 50.768 and so on degrees. So when I look at this diagram here, that 50.768 must clearly be this one in here, the red theta. So I'll mark that in just as 50.7 degrees as a guide. Okay, so that's the red one. We now need the green one. And the green one will be 180 degrees minus the 50.7 odd degrees that I've got marked in here. So if you do that on a calculator, what you find is you get 129.231 and so on degrees. So there's two possible angles between 0 and 360 degrees. That's when sine theta is a positive value. Now when sine theta is equal to negative 0.77459 and so on. I could do this on the same diagram but for purposes of illustration I'm just going to do it on a separate diagram. What we've got here is 0 degrees again at this point here. But we're looking for where sine is negative and sine is negative now in the third and fourth quadrants. So mark in there and there two lines equally inclined to the horizontal. So again get in the habit of marking those in. 
So the angles that we want now would be starting from naught degrees, turning anti-clockwise. The first possible value of theta in this diagram would be this one here. Next, I can start from here, turn all the way around again to the next blue line. There we are. And this is another possible value for theta. Now we already know that on the calculator we have 50.7 when we inverse sine 0.77459. If you inverse sine this particular value, what comes up on the calculator is minus 50.7 and so on. Now that would mean that this angle here, turning in the clockwise sense, is the angle of negative 50.768 and so on. But its magnitude is 50.768 and we can use that to help us get the red angle here and the green angle. The red angle will be 180 degrees plus 50.768 because these two angles are exactly the same that I've marked in blue here. So doing that, we find that theta is now 230.768 and so on. And then if I do 360 degrees minus the 50.768, what I get is now 309.231 and so on degrees. So if I put both these sets of answers together and round to one decimal place, then I've got that theta equals 50.8 degrees from that first one there. Then I've got 129.2 degrees. Then 230.8 degrees. And finally, 309.2 degrees. And they are all to one decimal place. I should put that in just to signify that. And that brings us then to the end of this question.